Welcome back to this ninth video in this series when we're looking at the vSphere web client. And we looked in the last video of actually how to create a virtual machine from scratch, but what about if we have virtual machines that have been created already or we want to deploy OVF? So this is going to be a quick video where it's just going to show you how to do that. So first I'm here at this vCenter home screen when I click on this button I'm taken here. Now what I want to do is I can go to my VMs and templates folder and I can click on the data center view and I can see this thing where it says deploy OVF template. I can go back there, maybe I can go within the virtual machines. I wonder if it'll let me do it through here. If I right click on here, of course it's not letting me do it through here either, but as you can see within this objects view, I have this plus sign where it says I can deploy an OVF template. So let's go ahead and do that. If you have a specific URL that you can actually download it from, you can do that. Or if you have it on the local file, you can do it from there as well. So, so I'll go ahead and I'll click browse and I'll go to my downloads folder and it's looking for an OVF, but I actually have an OVA, so I'll just look all files, see what's here. So there, there's my DSL OVA. We'll go ahead and click open. Click next, and it's going to review all the details and validate it. It's going to see what it's going to have. And this is actually from Eric Sloof. So as you can see, the, the root and DSL password is ntpro.nl. And I'm really not going to go and boot anything up in here. I'm just going to actually just have it so I can just go ahead and demonstrate in the next video of stuff I want to do. But that's basically as simple as deploying an OVF. It's really pretty simple by choosing pretty much everything we would do in a sample scenario. So this one, I'm actually going to deploy it onto a localized data store, then provisioned. Click Next. And I'm going to put it on my servers port group. Go ahead and click Next. And we're going to go ahead and complete. As you can see, it's now initializing the OVF or OVA deployment. Now it's deploying that virtual machine. It's about done. And there we have it. Now it's done. So I can go ahead, reload this. As you can see, the DSL is, is right here. We can go in, look at any of the properties, any of the tools. Uh, we can see that the compatibility is before. It's now at ESXi 4.0 and later. So you can always go ahead and update the hardware or anything like that, but we don't need to worry about that. I'm just going to go ahead and power it on, and that's going to be it for this session. So I'll see you in the next one.